Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Boofs' Sports Card Collecting. Today I got a package from Ethan from Ethan's Elvis Colors and more. And uh, what it is is he did a Christmas sale. I bought a few cards. Also, Jeffrey DeMarco sent me a whole bunch of cards to Ethan that I don't know what they are, and he put them in this package. So I'm pretty excited to check it out. But this is Ethan's Elvis Covers and More, his number, his uh, email. Um, this is his YouTube. Check him out. He's awesome. He does a great job. He's my one of my favorite YouTubers out there. So I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can always check him out on YouTube if you want to. I definitely think he's cool. He's got about 8,500 subscribers on his way to 10,000. So check him out. And uh, I got my lucky Mr. Rogers card here. Fred Rogers. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Right now it's a nice, wet, rainy day in the neighborhood for us here. But I'm going to let him soak up that good mojo. I wanted to show off, a, once again, a couple cool things that I got. I got this from my best friend Dave. It's a $100 bill. But it shows Kobe Bryant getting ready to bang on somebody with the American flag in the background. Shows the years that he uh, played. There's his autograph right there. Uh, got most valuable player. What I'm doing right now is chasing perfection. His 81 point game is all right there. This is a really sweet card. Came with a nice certification card on the with it. Um, as you can tell, it's pretty cool. I definitely like this one, and he also got me another one. He got me one that's a million dollars, a million dollar one, and it's Kobe holding the finals trophy and the finals MVP trophy. Has his autograph right there. Shows the years that he was born, the year that he passed away. Million dollars. That's pretty sweet. I definitely dig this. So once again, thanks, Dave. I really do appreciate that. I'm going to put that back. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put Mr. Rogers away. I'll break into this package here and see what we got. harder for me to break into than usual so I'm gonna kind of rip it up open looks like quite a lot of cards so quite a lot of cards yeah quite a lot of cards all right let's go ahead and check these out Okay, it's like a lot of PC stuff. All right, first team bag. I got, I think, four team bag there. Making sure that's empty. Okay, box is empty. All right, I got a Fernando Valenzuela, 1990 Donruss. Got an Oral Hershiser, 1990 Donruss. Got a Franklin Stubbs. 1990 Donruss. Got a Kurt Gibson, Mr. Home Run 1988 of 1990 Donruss. Franklin Stubbs, 1990 Donruss. A Dave Anderson, 1990 Donruss. Kyle Daniels, 1990 Donruss. Jeff Hamilton, 1990 Donruss. Jose Gonzalez, 1990 Donruss. Ray Seeger, no, Seer, Seer, yeah, Seeger, 1990 Donruss, Lenny Harris, 1990 Donruss, Mike Sharperson, 1990 Donruss, Alfredo Griffin, 1990 Donruss, Mike Marshall, 1990 Donruss, a Ramon Martinez, 1990 Donruss, 1989 Upper Deck of Oral Hershiser. A 1993 Free Ultra Checklist with Mike Piazza in it. A, I think this is 90. Oh, 88. 88 Flair, 
Pitching Magic, Mike Scott and Oral Hershiser. 1990 Tops, Kurt Gibson. Uh, let's see, this is a 89 score, Steve Sachs. And a 89 score of Chris Gwynn. A 90 Fleer of Tim Belcher. I think this is a 93. Uh, yeah, 1993 Upper Deck, Daryl Strawberry. I've never seen this before. This is kind of neat. Ramon Martinez, collect a book. Pretty neat. Never seen that. That's cool. Definitely add that one. Got a 1991 Fleer Ultra, J. Hal. 1991 Fleer Ultra, Jose Offerman. Another 1991 Fleer Ultra, J. Hal. And a 1991 Mike Sosha. All right, that was the first team bag. Here's the second team bag. Ooh, this one's cool. Right on top. That one's awesome. Got to top load that one. This is a 1978 tops, which is the year I was born. Bill Russell, and that is an autograph right there. So let me put that in a top loader. That is awesome. Thank you very much, Jeffrey DeMarco. Bill Russell, 1978 Tops Autograph. And then right after that, gave me another one. This is a 1976 Tops Bill Russell, and it's another autograph. Thank you, bro. That's awesome. I really do appreciate that. That is sweet couple Bill Russell Dodger autographs. Some old school cards, too. And, dude, they're just coming all over the place. This is a 1979 Topps Manny Mota autograph card. Wow, dude. This is awesome. Wow. Jeffrey, you're awesome, dude. These are some cool cards. Definitely going to be putting into my PC that are going to never leave my cold dead hands. <laughs> and another one, this is a 1965 tops of Johnny Padre's autograph. Dude, wow, man. Wow, I, 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 wow, I am speechless. This is, this is absolutely awesome. Look at that, a 65 tops auto. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Looks like I got more autographs. This is a 1978 Manny Mota top autograph again. Another Mota. That's awesome. <clears throat> That's, I don't even know what to say, man. That is, This is sweet, dude. This is really cool. Really, really cool. And then I got another autograph here. Wow. This is another... This is a 19... 76 tops of Stan Wall autograph for the Dodgers. Man, you're just piling me up with sweet old school autographs, man. I really do appreciate all these autographs. This is awesome. I got a 19, well, I, so I think it's 72. Yeah, 72, because the 72 design from Heritage. Jimmy Leffenberg autograph on card auto dude this is wow I think these are the oldest cards I have and now they're all autographed by the actual players man that is pretty sweet man I have a stack of autos here oh now this guy remember big time this is a 19 let's see what year is this 1978 tops Lee Lacey Lee Lacey He's on the Bravos here, but I think he did play for the Dodgers. Lee Lacey. Very cool. Very cool, man. Oh, my goodness. Look at all these the stack of autographs that's just performing before me. Here's another auto from a 1976 Tops of John Hale autograph on there. On-card auto. This is sweet, dude. Man. You are just piling up the autographs here, Jake, uh, Jeffrey. You are sweet. This is awesome. I totally appreciate all these cards. 
These are going to be in my collection forever. And here's another really sweet one. This is a 1976 Tops Davy Lopes. Davy Lopes autograph, on card auto. Man, wow, dude. You have a massive amount of autographs from the Dodgers. That is really cool. Wow, dude. Look at this pile of cars that are happening here. And oh, here's another big one from the 1978 Tops Steve Yeager. Mr. Yeager autographed. Awesome, dude. That is, I'm, wow. Look at all these autographed Dodger cars, guys. I'm just piling them up right here. Got another one here of Bill Russell, and it's a 1979 Tops on card autograph of Bill Russell. He's another big one. That is awesome, man. From the early late 70s to early 80s, Bill Russell was definitely a big contributor on the Dodgers. And then this is a 1979 Tops Burt. Hooten, autograph, on card. Man, I'm going to run out of top loaders from all the autographs I have here. This is so sweet, man. That's so awesome. And this is a pretty old card. This is a 1968 Tops Jim Levine, on card autograph from the Dodgers. Man, dude, this is, this is, I don't even know what to say, dude. This is so awesome. So sweet. I haven't been cussing in a while, but I almost feel like dropping an F-bomb because this is so cool, man. Another really old card here. This is a... Let's see. 1959, I think. I think this is a 59. Wow, dude. A 59 tops of Charlie Neal autograph. This is... Wow, this is... I think this is going to be one of my oldest cards I have. That is, that is sick, dude. Unbelievable. Look at this stack. And it's still going. I got a Barton Hooten again from 1976. On card auto. I gotta go open another pack of top loaders. Man, this is absolutely awesome. Look at the stack of Dodger autographs I have now. Sweet. Good thing I have extra top loaders. All right, and here we go. Uh, we got a Glenn Brook. This is a 1978 Tops on card auto as well. Man, Jeffrey, you have gone way above and beyond for me. This is so sweet. I can't believe how many autographs you are giving me here. Another, oh, wow, Moonshot. This is another 1959er. Wally Moon hitting those moon shots when we used to play in the Coliseum. Wow, dude. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. Wow, man. I cannot believe these awesome, awesome cards that you have are given to me for Christmas. This is wow, dude. That is so dope. And here's a 1961 Tops of Charlie Neal. On card auto. Let me break into my next batch of top loaders here. Holy moly. I cannot believe. Jeffrey, you are so awesome, dude. I really do appreciate this. Another top loaded autographed old school Dodger card right there. These will all be in my collection until I pass away, I'll tell you that. Here's a 1991 Fleer of Don Griffin that's going to go to my 49er collection. Oh, dude, really? Wow. Wow, dude. Wow, this is a 1974 Topps Dusty Baker on-card auto. Dodgers get Dusty Baker from the Braves. Wow, dude. That is an awesome card, too. Wow, man. Dusty Baker. Autograph. Stacking the autos. Okay, now we finally... I think we got out of the autographs. Here we're with some 49er cards. Now all 91 Fleer. It's a Steve Wallace. 
Brent Jones, our awesome tight end from the 80s. Guy McClenay, offensive lineman. Bill Romanowski, now he's a crazy son of a gun, but he was an awesome linebacker for us. Steve Young, one of the best quarterbacks ever. Pierce Holt, defensive line. Charles Haley, one of the greatest linebackers ever to play. Guy McClellan, offensive lineman. Mike Colfer, our old school field goal kicker from the 80s. John Taylor, who lined up with Jerry Rice and John Taylor. They were definitely the one-two punch. Another Mike Kofer there for you, kicker. Daryl Porter, defensive back. Dexter Carter, the other running back. League leaders, San Francisco 49er quarterback, Joe Montana. Ain't much I got to say about him. I think he's the greatest of all time. But that's always in controversy with Tom Brady, but... Put Tom Brady in the same uh, rules and regulations and the era of the 80s and see if he can pull out four Super Bowls. Tom Rathman, running back from the... He was more like a fullback from the 49ers. He just would move people out the way. But that is so sick, dude. Unbelievable, the type of card you just gave me. Thank you very much. And I still got more to come, man. Wow, dude, more to come. So this is going to be uh, team bag number three, and this is a, and let's see, 19, 90, 1990, I think, a 1989, Bowman, Raul Mondesi, I believe that's a rookie card too, that's sick, got a Billy Ashley, and this is a 1995 upper deck. Got a 1989 of Kurt Gibson, upper deck, 1989 Steve Sachs, 1989 Fernando Valenzuela, 1987 Fernando Valenzuela, 1990 Tim Cruz, 1988 or 89, 89 Fleer, Alfredo Griffin, 1989 Mike Duvetch, Duvetch? I, I can't even say that one right. 1990, Alejandro Peña. 1990, Jose Vizcaino. 1990, Fleer, Mitch, Mitch, Mitchie Hatcher. 1990, Upper Deck, Mike Davis. 1990, Upper Deck, Jay Howe. 1990, Upper Deck, Mike Sosha. Look how young Mr. Mike Sosha looks right there. 1990, Upper Deck, Cal Davis. 1990, Upper Deck, Jay Howe. 1991, Fleer Ultra, Tim Belcher. 1991, Fernando Valenzuela with a triple pitcher. 1991, Upper Deck, um, Kurt Gibson. 1993, Upper Deck, Top Prospect, Michael Moore from the Dodges. 1989, Upper Deck, Fernando Valenzuela. 1989, Upper Deck, Star Rookie, Juan Bell. 1989 Upper Deck Collector's Choice, Kurt Gibson. 1990 Upper Deck Juan Samuel. 1990 Fleer, Dave Hansen and Ryan and Kelly Mann. 1990 Fleer, Mike Morgan. 1992 Upper Deck, Roger McDowell. 1992 Upper Deck, Alfredo Griffin. 1992 Upper Deck, Jose Offerman who hit a home run to start off his career first at bat. I remember that. 1992 Upper Deck Top Prospects, Raul Mondesi. 1992 Upper Deck Kyle Davis. 1992 Upper Deck Jay Howe. 1992 Upper Deck Tim Belcher. 1992 Upper Deck Roger McDowell. 1992 Upper Deck Brett Butler. 1987 Tops, Dennis Powell. Wow, I've never seen this one before. Five years, Upper Deck Anniversary. I had this card, but not this actual one. I had that one on the back. This is a 1996, I think, Upper Deck remake of Eric Carroll's rookie card. 1989, uh, Donruss of Oral Hershiser. 1986, Dodger Ed Van Buren. 1986, Alex Trevano. 
1986 Franklin Stubbs. I believe this is an 82. No, 83. 1983 Pat Zachary. 84 Bobby Castro. 84 Mariano Duncan. 83 Jose Morales. And an 83 of Raphael Landstory. That's awesome. And I got one more team bag to go, folks. One more team bag to go. Holy smokes. So many cards. So many cards. So many awesome cards, dude. Jeffrey DeMarco, you're the man. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. That is so sick. And I got some of Ethan's cards in this one. Okay. Okay, so these are the ones that I purchased from Ethan, so I'll put those to the side. I got a sleeve with a whole bunch of cards in it. Zach McHenry from the Dodgers. Kibru Ruiz, rookie card from the Dodgers. Yoshi Chizero from the Dodgers. Trevor Bauer, 86 from the Dodgers. This one's awesome. Tool. Lost that from the mosaic of Mookie Betts. That's a pretty sweet one. And hey, hey, uh, Cody Bellinger I don't have. 2021 certified. Sweet Cody Bellinger there. All right, so these are the ones that I purchased from Ethan at his cell. Got a little Magic Johnson lot to add to my Laker collection. This is a 1990 Flair. Irvin Magic Johnson. I got a 19... This is 8990 tops. Free throw and average leader, Irvin Magic Johnson. This is a 1990 hoops, most valuable player, Irvin Magic Johnson. This is a 1989, right? 88, oh, this is 8990, Irvin Johnson. This is a 1990 Fleer. So I got two of those, Irvin Johnson. I picked up this Tom Brady card because, man, before Tom Brady was Tom Brady, I was watching him at Michigan. And I'm a big Michigan fan. I hope the Wolverines win the national championship this year in football. But he had this one, and I picked this one up. Prism Crusade from the Michigan Wolverines, Tom Brady. And I picked up this Top's Finest from 2021 here of Kingfish Mike Trout. And the very last card that I got from his cell was a, let's see, what year is this? This is a 1988 Fleer All-Star Team Magic Johnson. So, oh my gosh, I'm so surprised and happy with all, look at this stack of autographed Dodger old school cards. That is ridiculous. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 autographed cards right there. That is unbelievable. Thank you very much, Jeffrey DeMarco. You are the man. I really do appreciate everything you just gave me. All those cards are going to be in my PC until I pass them on to my kid when I <laughs> probably pass away. So that is super awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I, I wish you, I had, you had a YouTube page. I would shout you out big time. But I know you don't, so thank you very much. Next time I see you, I'm going to thank you tremendously. Holy moly. But this is from Ethan's Elvis Covers and More. He's the one who sent me out these cards. Jeffrey sent them to Ethan, and he sent them to me. I picked up a few from his cell. Check him out. 8,500 subscribers, headed to 10,000. Has an Instagram, a Facebook page. Um, he's really... Really, really great YouTuber. Getting ready to finish up his last semester of school, and he's going to become a teacher. So this guy is really an overall good guy, and definitely should check out his Patreon. I got his Patreon. I get a blaster box and a bunch of two, usually two team bags of a bunch of personal PC cards from Dodgers and White Sox. So definitely check him out. I really do appreciate his help as well. I'm just awestruck with everything I just got here. Thank you very much, guys. If you like what you saw here, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.